Many have fought this day. Many have died. Two great houses face each other. Yet every man must ultimately stand for himself and himself alone. Fire burns within their breasts. And it is fire that shall bind them in final contest. Split heaven with the sound of your fury. Begin! The conclusion of Spartacus Gods of the Arena would take the action to the next level. The production team was tasked with making the sequence a reality. Breathtaking in its scope and scale, the climactic final battle between the houses of Badiatis and Salonius would prove to be a colossal undertaking to film. Down the program's grueling schedule of basic gymnastics, corneal cross-training, mixed martial arts, and weapons basics, there is an intrinsic part of boot camp which yields a vital element for everyone involved. To be honest, boot camp is probably one of the most fun sections of doing this job um, because everyone bonds together. But the thing that it builds with the boot camp is um, obviously we try and get rid of the, the fat and try and rip them up, but what it does is it gets a really good team morale. Physical training kind of levels everybody to a, to a common ground, and then everybody knows everybody else's weaknesses, and um, kind of you, you have a little bit more respect with everybody, which is good. It's just like being a kid again, like in the backyard with a wooden sword, you know, hacking into your mate, trying to, you know, draw blood. <laughs> with trust as their bond, the actors advance to the next level by learning each fight specific moves. Every step or beat is choreographed, practiced, rehearsed, and then fine-tuned before cameras roll. We try and vary it as much as we can, because obviously in the public eye at the moment, MMA is really big. So we try and do a lot of throws or falls or locks that um, other people can relate to that, um, that follow that, that type of sport. I will get with them, start taking them through it, break everything up into small pieces. We start to build that slowly, 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 and then we build it to a really fast speed once we've spent quite a few days on the fight piece itself. It's a dance. Make sure that you know what your beats are, and then you have to get with the person that you're doing it with and work out a rhythm that's going to work between you. Despite being prepared, there is the ever-present risk of the occasional accident or misstep happening on a production of this caliber. Basically, had my ass kicked a few times. Thank God for my masseuses. <laughs> Hopefully everybody at home will appreciate how much we put into these fights. I think when you watch it, you think, no, oh, I can do that. Oh, that wouldn't be too hard. That'll be OK. And <laughs> then you get in there. As much as we can, we'll try and go actor against stunt double. It's just for safety reasons. Obviously, there's, there's going to be some times where we want to see the two characters together and however the shot's designed. I've been responsible for hitting one of our stunt guys, you know, it's just a wrong movement, and that really hits home how um, easy it is to get it wrong, even when you've been doing it a while. The great thing about it is you learn to slow down and get the movement right. Getting the movement right was essential in filming the Battle Royale. Alan and his team choreographed a 20-man melee with swords flying, fighters on the defensive, and cameras right in the heart of the action. Every man in the ring had to know not only their place, but everyone else's as well. It's an amazing production, you know, I mean, it. It has extremes, and uh, that's not only for the audience, but also for the actor. It's a bit, um, a bit boring doing the swords and shields all the time. We're trying to use different weapons, especially in this last episode, with um, ball and chain, double axes, war hammers, different things that you haven't really seen. We try as best we can to, to keep it fresh, and that's, again, a great credit to Al and his stunt team. They put a lot of hard work in, and they're really talented, and uh, they're trying to push the edges all the time in terms of what, what's been done. So it's not just simply get in there and find out the most fancy moves. And of course, the sheer size and spectacle of this final arena battle is truly stunning. 